The loss of a beloved pet usually hits the owners very hard. Through the years you have spent together, you have already experienced a lot together and built an intimate relationship. If you enjoyed cuddling in bed with your pet in the evenings and the familiar purring suddenly stops, the grief can be overwhelming. Still, you need to be prepared to make practical decisions when the cat passes away. We will now give you helpful tips on this topic and provide you with comprehensive information. When do I have to let my cat go? It depends very much on the nature of the death, how you can say goodbye to your cat. If the passing away is foreseeable due to illness or old age, then this can be a very stressful time. Reasons for passing away include Advanced age, the average life expectancy for cats is 12 to 14 years. Once your cat starts to become more and more reclusive and eats little, you know it's time to let them go. Serious illnesses, even if the cat is terminally ill and the animal is suffering from the ailments, sooner or later you will think about euthanizing it. In such a case, you usually still have enough time to weigh further steps and consciously deal with the dying of the cat. Accidental death, especially if you own a free roaming cat and live in an urban area, it can quickly happen that your cat dies in a tragic accident with a car. When this happens, the shock is usually greater than the grief at first. Acute complications, in case of poisoning or complications during surgery, it can quickly happen that you have to say goodbye to your cat. When should I have my cat put to sleep? Unfortunately, not every cat has the possibility to fall asleep peacefully in its basket forever. If the cat's suffering becomes too great, for example due to illness, you should try to evaluate the situation as objectively as possible. If the suffering of your cat is prolonged because you are afraid of loss, it is understandable from a human perspective, but does additional harm to the animal. In any case, if you are unsure whether you should have your cat euthanized, consult with the veterinarian and get help. The euthanasia itself is done with the administration of sedatives and anesthetics, so that the cat falls asleep painlessly forever. If you do not want to go alone, because you are afraid that it will overwhelm you, then take a trusted person with you to the vet and be comforted. Where can you bury your cat? The question of what to do with the beloved pet presents the owner with a difficult decision. If the cat is euthanized at the vet's office and you do not express any other wish, it will be sent to the local rendering plant. Options for burying the cat yourself include Burial in the garden. If you own a plot of land, you can bury your cat there. Surround your cat with a rotting material, such as a cardboard box. Crematorium. If a grave is not an option for you, there is the option to have the animal disposed of at a crematorium and have the ashes placed in an urn. The cost is usually based on the weight of the cat. Pet cemetery, if you don't have your own yard, then you can also rent a grave at a pet cemetery. In any case, you should not get the idea to bury your cat in public space. This may result in a fine. Say goodbye to the cat and cope with the grief. Every pet owner grieves differently for their deceased loved one and the loss always leaves a huge void. It can help in coping with the grief if you share with other pet owners who have already gone through it. If you have children, you can explain it to them in a way that their four-legged friend is now in cat paradise, where cats go once they die. If you enjoyed this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a new video in the future.